One local bartender is putting Jacksonville on the map in the bourbon world. The popular bartender recently won a virtual bourbon competition hosted by Davis Country Bourbon. And now Shannon Michelle, head bartender at Sidecar in Jacksonville, joins us this morning to give us a little demo of her very unique winning cocktail creation. And I actually looked over the recipe beforehand and I was like, Okay, this is interesting. But first of all, congratulations. How exciting. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was super exciting to win. So explain to me this cocktail. Where did you come up with the idea for it? Uh, the cocktail is actually has some deep roots in like Southern culture. Uh, it started out with the tradition of putting like peanuts in a can of Coke when people are drinking like a can of Coke in the Southern states. Um, and then I also learned that there's also a cocktail that incorporates orgeat, which is like a nut syrup, Coca-Cola, and whiskey. So I kind of just did a play on that. I gussied it up a little bit for you guys today. Yeah, it looks, I mean, we see the pictures of what the end result, and it looks so nice. And it's actually, so the cocktail's name is From Florida with Love? Yeah, that's right. And where did you come up with that name? Uh, well, Davies County is a relatively newer bourbon to uh, Mark. They were looking for new markets. Uh, so when they came to me and they came to other bartenders across the nation, they really wanted us to make a representation for our home states for the competition. So this was like my love letter from, from Florida with love. Well, I guess we got to stop talking and just <laughs> like, let's make the drink. We, yeah. we all want to know what's in it. Okay, so where do you start and is it possible to make this at home? It is possible to make this at home. The uh, ingredients are relatively easy. Um, the only things that you're really going to need is the Davies County Cabernet finish. Um, this is a higher proof bourbon. It ha it's been finished in Cabernet barrels. It gives it a nice like clove and allspice flavor to the bourbon. We're going to be using an ounce and a half of this in the cocktail. And then another ingredient that you can get at the store is actually Orgeat. Like I said earlier, Orgeat is a nut syrup at its base. Um, I did a Cajun like boiled peanut Orgeat for this cocktail, but we're just going to be using this you can buy at the store. It's just regular Orgeat. Wait, can you spell that for us? It's <laughs> O-R-G-E-A-T. And that's, you can really find that at any store? You can find this at any liquor store, yeah. Oh, wow. It's pretty common in like tropical cocktails. You'll see it a lot, um, but it's made some headway in popular like modern cocktails as well. Um, a ingredient that you can make at home is the cola syrup. This is just a reduction of regular like old school Coca-Cola. You're gonna put it on like your, in a saucepan and then heat it up and just kind of let it sit there. And, and it, it gets all bubbly that. and caramelized. Yeah, it smells so good. When you're cooking it at home, I made it last night for this uh, event today. So it was really awesome to kind of like fill your home with all those nice spices. Mm. Uh, then you're going to get like a, your favorite Italian Amaro. You can get, grab any one at the store. This one is Amaro Luciano. It's a very uh, popular Italian liqueur. And then I've got some Oloroso Sherry that you can also get. We're going to do a half ounce of this as well. There's a lot of ingredients here to where I might be just heading to sidecar to get this. You know what? I'll make it for you, okay? Oh, <laughs> that's what we hear. Richard's going over. <laughs> Richard says that thing should be called you're not making it to work tomorrow morning. <laughs> if you have one too many, yeah, you might, it might be hard pressed to get up for work in the morning. You know, uh, it's Friday, the weekend's coming up tomorrow. So what exactly, because I wish I could taste it. My, my heart hurts a little bit that I can't. Oh, I know. I can't taste it. I know this COVID world. But it, explain to me, what does the final product taste like? The final product is something that is very bourbon forward. Uh, I think that all of the flavor notes from all of the other ingredients really carry on the Cabernet finish of the Davies County. Um, and it's something that's pretty smooth. Normally this drink is blended, so it gets like a really nice uh, texture to it as well. But it's something that's easy to drink for anybody, especially if you're a bourbon lover. Um, I'm just gonna shake this real quick and then we're gonna pour it into our tin over here. Shake it, I gotta say this final product. You have good ice too. I love when you have those small little ice cubes. The best ice. The best ice. It really makes for a good drink. It always reminds me of mint juleps. I know, I love, and you know what? A little bit of this comes from the julep as well. A julep is a classic whiskey cocktail. It's made up just of some simple ingredients, sugar, bourbon, and mint, and then poured over ice. So 9.44 in the morning, and we are talking about bourbon, <laughs> and it looks 
good. There's no better time. We're just gonna garnish this with some Cracker Jacks or if you have like caramel corn, cause it is the holidays, you can do that. And then I've just got this cute little postcard with a little Florida on there, classic Florida. It is picture perfect and Shannon, we can tell this is why you won. It is amazing. From Florida with love, congratulations again. That's amazing. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. Good time.